Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a 7 inch touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi. So I picked up this thing right here. You can see the, the Pi attaches on the back here. We're going to show you the unboxing and uh, setup in just a few minutes. So here's, a, here's another clip of, of uh, what we have. I'm um, just, just showing a few clips of what it looks like before we actually uh, get into the unboxing part, which is a little bit slower. But as you can see, it's a it, it's a pretty functional uh, screen, and, and here we go. Here's the here's the box um, Raspberry Pi seven inch inch touchscreen display from Element fourteen. Um, yep, yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. So here here's the back. We see some some uh, features that it has. Um, nothing too exciting there. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 you've already seen how it looks, and we're, we're going to show you how we set it up and a little, little bit more of, of the functionality in just a bit. So we see it comes with this manual. We're just going to throw that aside in a sec. And move this uh, this packing material, and that, there, there's the actual screen. Um, we're going to take a look at that in a bit. You've already seen it in action briefly. So we're, we're, we're going to take a look at some of the other parts first. So you, you're going to notice we have these little jumper cables, and we use a couple of those to actually attach the screen to the Raspberry Pi for power and stuff. Um, this is the, the camera cable, the, the DSi cable. It's going to go into the DSi slot on the Raspberry Pi. And that's it. That's everything that comes with it. So let's get started. Oh yeah, and that, that little baggie there that I kind of just uh, threw to the side, it actually has screws in it. So you'll, you'll notice, um, all right, so well, th this is the front. Um, we haven't peeled the, the plastic thing covering the screen off yet, but we'll do that a little later. And um, yep, so here we are. You're gonna no notice in the back here, you have those four little standoff screws. Now, um, that's actually, you can screw the Pi into those. And th there's the DSi slot. So um, that DSi cable goes from that slot to the, the uh, matching slot on your Raspberry Pi. And there's another port on the side there that we don't even look at or use. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why, there, there we go. My camera was just did not want to focus. It, or, or at least not on what I wanted it to. So here we go, um, more stuff in the back, gives you the screen dimensions, <clears throat> viewable screen size, resolution. That's a relatively low resolution. It's nothing super fancy, but it's not a super expensive screen either. Um, 10 finger capacitive touch, connects to the Pi, yeah, using the DSi port, etc., etc. <clears throat> and it, it just basically just tells you what it comes with, the jumper cables, etc., etc., all the stuff we already saw, basically. So enough of that. Um, let, let's take a look at this. All right. So here's our Raspberry Pi. I already I already have it plugged into power. Um, we are going to connect it to this monitor, and we'll connect a keyboard and, and a mouse later. Um, I don't have an. I never got an on-screen keyboard working. I haven't actually tried. You probably could, but um, I, I did not actually need a mouse. So I, the touch screen works completely fine. Um, Oh, and, and here, here you're going to see I'm plugging in. Um, you have to plug this in the right way. And uh, th this is the correct way to plug this cable in. You're going to see later I adjusted it and uh, messed it up and did it wrong and then proceeded to fix it further on in the video. But this is the correct way to plug it, it plug the DSi cable into the DSi port on this board, on the monitor. And you'll see you push the little... So um, I should have zoomed in on this. I think I zoom in on it later. Um, but basically, you, you slide that cable in. Well, first, you have to pull this uh, this little rubber thing out of the slot, slide the cable in, push the rubber thing back in. Anyways, here I am doing it wrong. That's why you see in you know yellow and red um, in, in the bottom of the screen it says wrong, just so no one gets the wrong idea. Maybe someone's watching this without sound or something. But yeah, you, you don't want to plug it in this way. Notice this way, the blue side is facing up or towards us. Um, yeah, you don't want that. That's wrong. Here I am trying to get it in straight. Um, spending more time than I should. But yeah, 
so what well, I mean once you do slide it in you'll you'll push the push that rubber thing back in to secure the the DSI ribbon cable in place so you like that you push the little rubber thing in in there yeah so now it's secure but it's facing the, the wrong direction we're gonna fix that later on after we connect the pie to this to the back of this you might not always want to connect the pie but in this case we do want to connect the pie it's just gonna be more convenient for testing and stuff so it comes with these nice screws and we're gonna grab a couple of these cables too and uh, you want to make be very careful and make sure you get these cables plugged in correctly so um don't just blindly follow what i'm doing i know it's it's probably a little bit hard to see because i didn't zoom in properly here um but uh yeah the, the the ports are actually labeled so there's a pin out and you, you can match them to the ports on the raspberry pi so i believe we needed a five volt port we needed a five volt pin and a ground pin. So we're, we're, we're taking five volt from the monitor and connecting it to the five volt port on the, on the Pi and the ground port on the monitor to the ground port on the Pi. And um, they should be labeled. Um, if not, you, you can just check a pin out. Um, but, but yeah, make sure you connect them to the correct pins. Um, you know, double check and verify that you're plugging everything into the exact correct pin um don't mess it up don't burn anything out don't brick any of your equipment so here i'm using my iFixit uh screwdriver from my uh, iFixit screwdriver kit to screw this in um you don't need the screwdriver you use whatever you know any fitting screwdriver but i found this kit to be really useful for all kinds of projects like this um i'm going to throw a little link in the description you might want to take a look at um, both, both for this uh, monitor and for uh, pro probably for this iFixit toolkit. And I, I did a previous video specifically on this iFixit toolkit. So if you go back through my video history, you're going to see the video I did reviewing this toolkit. And I, I've used it in a few different projects where we take things apart. Um, we've taken apart some computers and some, some tablets and phones and stuff. All right, so there we go. We've uh, now we're going to connect these jumper. We, we've got it screwed or bolted in place. We're going to connect these uh, jumper cables to the right pins on here. So you, you can't. It's it's tough to see exactly which pin. So make sure you're you're getting it right and check for yourself. You, you even zoomed in like this. So you see, I zoomed in for this shot, but. It's still tough to tell exactly where it's, it's plugged in. Um, I mean, this should give you a good idea, but just, just check the pin out and make sure you're doing it right yourself. Don't, don't you know, trust your eyesight in, in watching my video. And here we go. I am now... Um, so, so here I'm, I'm thinking about plugging this into the Raspberry Pi and realizing that I, I uh, plugged it into the screen incorrectly and that I had it right the first time. So um, yeah, I, I guess this is you know lesson learned from this. Just pay attention to what you're doing a little bit more. Um, so there we go. Fixed it or in the, prog in the process of fixing it. Um, we're we're going to place it... Um, yeah, so before we place it in the pie, we're going to slide it back into the monitor and then into the pie. And actually, you get a good view of it here. Notice um, the pins and not the blue part are facing towards us. So we, we slide it in. And see how we push that little rubber thing down? Uh, th there you go. That, that's what you had to pull out. You pull it out first, slide, slide the cable in, and then push those things in to secure it. And it works similarly on the Pi. There, there's this rubber thing that we, we pull out. Watch that. There we go. I pulled that out a little bit. And then you slide the cable in. 
then you're going to push that rubber thing back into place um, after I secure the cable. And there we go. You can see one of my fingers pushing it. And there you can, the other one's a little bit out of view. But you can see on both sides, I like to just push it down there. And there we go. Zoom out a little bit. And uh, we are going to turn this on in just a bit. So push the button on the power cable to turn power onto the Pi. And this should be starting up in just a second. There we go. There's some colors on the screen. So we know the screen is actually connected to the, bot to the Pi successfully. And it's, it's kind of suboptimal with the, the reflection from the light I'm using. I, at this point, I would probably be better off turning off the, the lights I'm shining on here. And anything that's white just doesn't seem to show up as well. So like any, any labels and buttons and things like that on my screen, they just don't show up as well on, on my camera. Like it's, it's too bright for my camera compared to everything else around it. But, you know, as you can see, you can use the touch screen. Um, you could use a mouse if you want, but um, like the whole idea of having a touch screen, like you, I mean, you, it, it pretty much takes the place of the mouse unless you need something that requires like a, a lot of precision. It's, it's just like a regular touch screen. This is a pretty, pretty decent um, touch screen. It, it's pretty responsive and it works pretty well. But, so I, I like like some touch screens are pretty bad, but th this one is is decent. This is this is vaguely on par with what you should expect from a, a regular smartphone or so, or a tablet or something. And so here's me getting my password wrong with the keyboard. Um, so to type anything, I'm using the keyboard because I don't have an on-screen keyboard configured. I'm sure you can configure one. I just didn't. Let's see here. There we go. Got my password correct. I just forgot which password I had assigned to this device. And let's see here. So you've already seen some of this, but there they were shortened versions at the beginning of the video. But here we have our Raspberry Pi menu, nice and responsive on the touch screen. Um, there we go. Let's load this up. It's not the the Pi itself isn't super fast. See there we go. There's our browser. Um, but there's only so much you can expect from it, and that, that's a pretty reasonable speed. Um, it's not super fast or anything, but to load a, a browser is pretty reasonably quick. And running something small and lightweight like a terminal is, is, is nice and fast. And, and um, yeah, so, so the GUI seems to be working nicely. Run some basic terminal commands on, on, on the terminal. And what else do we want to test? Yeah, so switching applications. Um, everything on the, the task bar seems to be responding nice and quick. So you can select the URL bar like we, you know, it, it, it all works pretty well, basically. Just, just how you would expect. Let's do, do a nice little search. We can load Reddit up on this. Um, you know, some basic tablet level functionality. It's it's the full Reddit web page. I'm not sure if it brought me to the uh, Reddit mobile page or the, the desktop page, but basically you have a nice desktop view there. Um, de you could do real work with this desktop functionality, all the normal stuff you'd, oh, and there we go, peeling off that screen protector. Um, yeah, so basically desktop functionality with uh, with um, yeah, a touch screen, I guess. I mean, you, you, it's it's not a tablet yet unless you have a an on screen keyboard. But there you go. It's a, it's a pretty that this is what you get with the seven inch touch screen. I I am uh, I, I I like it myself. I I am definitely not disappointed at all. Um, I mean, it's not like some amazing four K display, and it's uh, you know, it's not like an iPad replacement, and it's not a laptop replacement. But you, you could build some interesting things with it, and it uh, definitely makes it more convenient to work with the Raspberry Pi. You don't have to figure out where it is on the network and stuff. I mean, it's not that I'm going to do development directly on the Pi. I mean, you could. You could turn it into a desktop and use it for your development. 
but generally you're probably going to do a lot of stuff off the pie and load it up onto the pie at least that's the kind of stuff i do um i've thought about building a desktop with one of these I, i'd probably get a bigger screen for it if i did but anyways um hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you what you get with the monitor how to set it up, how to plug in the cables, how not to plug in the cables. Hopefully you found this video interesting. We're gonna do a ton more things like this and we're gonna cover a ton of other um, technology related things from single board computers, Raspberry Pis, electronics, uh, 3D printing, coding, servers, hardware, software, everything, all sorts of interesting stuff. So stay tuned for that stuff. You're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button. You're probably gonna wanna hit the little bell icon so you know when we come out with a new video. You can give us a thumbs up. And probably more important than any of that, I'll leave a comment down below because we want to know what you think. So any comments, criticism, questions, um, just leave a comment down below. And I try to read everybody's comments eventually and get back to people when I can. Um, other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, that's it for today. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.